First of all, it's really special to me to be in Greenbar County and doing more good stuff, especially for kids in Greenbar County. You know, I wear a lot of hats. You know, uh, you see me a lot of times on the basketball court, screaming my head off and everything. And, uh, and that's out of one reason and one reason alone. You know, I really do enjoy the game of basketball, but I love those kids. And, uh, and you see, <clears throat> I've said it a million times over, I don't really go anywhere. You know, I don't, I don't travel and go on vacations. I don't have a yacht somewhere. I don't, I don't do that kind of stuff. I really love West Virginia. I love to hunt and fish. I love our mountains and our streams beyond belief. I used to play a little bit of golf, but now that's kind of out the window. But really and truly, the only other thing I really do is love to be with the kids. Now, <laughs> through all this terrible pandemic, all these masks and everything that we've had to go, th go through forever and a day, I've had the opportunity to go to a lot of places, be with a lot of kids, be with a lot of schools. Along the way, and I saw some incredible stuff happening over the last few years. The thing that absolutely is the most amazing thing to me is really and truly, and I don't say this to Tim Cappy's horn in any way, but really and truly what communities and schools is doing is unbelievable. I mean, it is truly unbelievable. And you see it all over the place. And absolutely, school after school, kids after kids, and site coordinators, and on and on and on. It is unbelievable what can really be done if we put our mind to it. Now, we know we've got a substance abuse problem in West Virginia that's off the chart. It's the same almost all across our nation, but we surely got problems in West Virginia. And along came this group, you know, Joe and his comrades, you know, and they came to me and they said, we want to do this program. We want to target really education and knowledge and all that goes with it to our kids to really try to move the needle. Now, lots of things have been tried. I mean, lots and lots of things. We're making leaps and bounds with jobs and hope. You know, our Department of Education, this good man right here, Brother Tom, and all them that have been with us forever, they've worked on all kinds of things. We've made progress, and we've moved a needle. We've moved a needle like this, and then we move it like this, and then we awaken to a situation that's like going on right now at our southern border, and you've got this flood of drugs coming in. It's inf infiltrating the whole nation in every way. And we've got big time problems, big time problems. The number one thing that would stop any drug from invading us is one thing, and that is if our kids or we as adults would just say, no, I don't want to do that. I just don't want to do that, you know. That stops it all. But you have to have knowledge, and you've got to have education to be able to say, no, I don't want to do that. That's not for me. I have so many other things in life that's not for me. And step away. So really, along comes this man and his comrades, Joe Bozick. And Joe sits down with me and says, we want you to be our head coach. We're forming a team. We're going to call it Game Changer. And we're going to really move the needle. And we want you to be the head coach. So today, I guess we're bringing on board now Greenbar East High School and Greenbar West High School. It couldn't be better. It really couldn't be better. 
Is it the absolute silver bullet that is going to stop and do every single thing there is, period? Well, per, of course not. But with all of that, will we make things better? We will. We will. And you see, that's all I've ever wanted to do. Whether it be your basketball coach, or be your governor, or be the guy that just really, really and truly loves all of us. I don't want anything. I never wanted anything. All I don't want the status. I don't want the ego. I don't want the money. I don't want the hot tips. I don't want anything. I surely don't want to be a politician. And I've never cared. Never in the world cared if you're a Democrat, Republican, or Independent. Never. I'm going to do what I think is best for all of us. Because we've got so many people on the outside that are throwing rocks at us. And when they throw rocks at us, me and you, and me, I'm going to throw rocks back. And you got a little preview of that with baby dogs hiding. So, so nevertheless, uh, with all that being said, I guess I'm going to defer now to, am I going to you, Joe? Yes, sir. Oh, gosh. Joe talks a lot. <laughs> but nevertheless, I'm going to Joe, and I, I thank all y'all for being here and everywhere. Thank y'all so much. Thank you very much, and um, I try not to talk a lot, but uh, today, with this announcement, I think it's time to potentially really show you the whole complete picture that the gentleman to my left at uh, that meeting two years ago, when I went to Governor Justice, I didn't know Governor Justice. The only thing I will tell you is when my wife, who's a teacher up in Long County, See, see, would see him on television, she would look at me, and she's not a big fan of all the political process. She said, you know one thing about that governor? He's genuine. I can look at his eyes and he's genuine. And when he looked at me and told me that if he got behind me, he only wanted one commitment, and that was for me to give my best to make this thing go right and to make sure that I didn't embarrass him and that I gave hard work, and I hope I continue to try to do that. Um, I don't know... How many of you here know of my background in athletics, but I apologize for the analogy because it's kind of the only thing I know. I spent 10 years as sports information director at WVU in the 80s with Coach Callett and Coach Nealon. I played ball though, I wasn't as good as a governor and uh, not nearly as good. But bottom line is, what Game Changers is one small integral part of a team that the governor has assembled take this whole situation with opioid substance misuse issues in our schools. And to call it brilliant would be an understatement because he may be the head coach of Game Changers, but in reality, he is the general manager of the community and schools, which I'm sure that the First Lady could be referred to as the head coach of community and schools with her assistant, Vicki Shannon, Jobs and Hope, providing jobs for people in op opioid recovery for with uh, Lori Smith and Deb Harris and our Game Changer initiative. You know, it's a three-pronged approach that really the governor's the general manager of a team that gets bigger and bigger every day, all working for a common goal to eradicate opioid and substance misuse, to take care of kids like community and schools, which I believe now is in 33 states. We hope to follow that lead and we hope to emulate what they've done and what the First Lady and Vicki and their staff's done. And we obviously work in conjunction with Jobs and Hope. We raised over $70,000 for uh, uh, gift cards and such to help families make sure their kids had a, uh, had a visit from Santa at Christmas time. So make no mistake about it. The governor's kind of quiet, actually. He doesn't say a whole lot. And behind the scenes, you know, a lot of people don't know, but West Virginia, we, we were called over to the DEA in November to sit and meet with the DEA. There'll be some things coming out late, uh, later about things they'd like to do because of what they said. Your governor is innovative and cutting edge. The things that this game changer in community and schools and jobs and hope has done has impressed prevention people not only in the state of West Virginia, but the entire country. And like he, I, get upset sometimes when we all take a, a constant rate being from West Virginia and, and people want to criticize us. They have no idea how we've taken the bull by the horns under Governor Justice's leadership. Uh, 
He oversaw us with Desiree Vasquez, who is uh, with the Hazleton Betty Ford Foundation and who's designed our curriculum for prevention education. And, um, uh, you know, we've assembled that team. So, you know, with Game Changer, Community in Schools, Jobs and Hope, and the world-renowned Hazleton Betty Ford Foundation, uh, I can tell you this, it'll take one darn good team to beat this team. And uh, under Governor Justice's leadership, it's, it's a thrill for me to consistently be able to be a, a small, integral part in, in a big game plan like this to eradicate the terrible use of drugs and so on and so forth. So with that, uh, Desiree Vasquez is joining us today via Zoom from her offices in Massachusetts. Uh, morning, Desiree. Good to see you again, and I'm going to turn it over to you. Thank you so much, Joe. Um, I'm very honored and excited to be here. Prevention is about investing in young people and to promote and protect their health and well-being. And it's great to see West Virginia doing just that. All of us at the Hazelden Many Ford Foundation are thrilled to be in part of this incredibly important effort. We know that prevention is a key part of our mission to keep healthy kids healthy and to grow them into people who lead healthy and happy lives free from substance use disorder. Addiction and substance use disorder does continue to be an enduring health concern for West Virginia. And while there are no silver bullets, there are effective solutions. We need to confront this public health concern from every possible angle, including with effective prevention programs upstream. Our prevention approach is an empowering one that honors the dignity and respects young people by partnering with them as they learn the information and skills that they need to make their own healthiest choices about alcohol, opioids, and all other substance use and non-use. At the Hazelden Betty Ford Foundation, we bring a spirit of humility, empathy, grace, and love to the Game Changers program. It is in this spirit that all of our Hazelden Betty Ford Foundation prevention specialists who will be walking alongside Game Changer coaches and students in the state are not only highly trained prevention science professionals, but also people who happen to be in healthy, long-term recovery from substance use disorders themselves. We are truly with the state of West Virginia and your people as professionals who have come through addiction and who are committed to prevention from a deep place within our mission. The spirit of humility, empathy, grace, and love that we bring to our prevention work is what your students deserve, but it's also what influences students. These motivated students can in turn motivate their peers for healthy choices. The prevention work of the Hazelden Betty Ford Foundation is in part so effective for students because it was innovated in conjunction with these students who for decades have shared with us their desire to be healthy role models to their peers and to younger kids. The game changer approach to prevention programming is different from just say no campaigns and scare tactics because it harnesses real life skills known to be effective at helping children and teens choose not to use substances and to get early help if they need it. These skills are practical, they're accessible, they're non-threatening, they're fun, and with practice, they're also easy for students to use for weeks, months, and years after exposure to Game Changers programming. These are the skills provided to students by trained professionals that will make up alongside committed school staff and peer student leaders a network of ongoing support and effective prevention for your youth. For prevention work to be effective, it must wed what we know from prevention science with what you as communities know to be true for yourselves. This is why partnerships between West Virginia Game Changers and the Case of the Betty Ford Foundation have the potential to be incredibly successful at improving the trajectory of kids' health for decades to come. Again, it's an honor to be here with you all. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, Desiree. Um, I'd like to take the opportunity now to introduce the superintendent of Greenbrier County Schools, the gentleman who I've developed a friendship with over the last six or eight months and has been a big help to me in planning this and, and many other things associated with Game Changer, uh, Jeff Bryant. Thank you, Joe. I appreciate that. On behalf of Greenbrier County Schools and specifically Greenbrier West High School and Greenbrier East High School, we are honored to be invited to be a member of this program to be under the leadership of Governor State of West Virginia, who I know firsthand loves kids beyond belief, as he would say. And it is beyond belief. He's a champion of children, and he is determined that we're going to eradicate this problem that is just eating our kids alive. 
Ladies and gentlemen, all these administrators here have seen it firsthand, what the damage drugs can do to not only our kids, but their families, our community. And with the governor leading the way, and Joe being there, being the backbone of this, we're gonna make a difference. We're gonna make a little Recording difference. Out. This. So once again, Governor, Joe, thank you for allowing Greenberg County Schools to be a part of this program to complement communities and schools. As you know, Greenberg County is the originator home of, of communities and schools in West Virginia. It's been a strong program for years. It continues to get stronger. And when we became a part of the organization for the state of West Virginia under Kathy Justice's leadership, we only got stronger. And we're serving kids in all 13 of our schools, the communities and schools. So once again, if we can bring this program to partner communities and schools and um, all the other initiatives the governor has, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to make a difference. We're not just going to talk the talk. We're going to walk this talk. So thank you again, Governor. Thank you, Joe. I appreciate you. Thank you, Jeff. Uh, and sitting up here, be remiss if I didn't make an introduction. I'm Ben Rouseman, principal in uh, Greenbrier uh, East, and uh, Coach uh, Jason Stewart, and Principal Greenbrier West, Amy Robertson, and basketball coach Jared Robertson, who on Monday night I traveled down here, and he uh, beat my son's team 62-61 in a heck of a game over at Charm Co. Monday night. Uh, good ball club, Coach. But anyway, uh, uh, the support they've given has been fabulous, and um, I've also, through this, had the opportunity to meet so many good people that want to get involved in all facets to help, and just got started to strike a friendship, I hope, up a month or so ago with a member of our Board of Education, Tom Campbell, who's again here today to show his support. And Tom, if you'd like to come up, please. Good morning. Until morning, right? Yes, sir. Thank you, Joe. Um, Governor, I'm glad to be a little brother. You, you play me most of the time, right? Sometimes. <laughs> That's what you said. Well, I claim the governor all the time. Um, the governor and the first lady both care about individual children. And they do a lot of things for individual children that they won't talk about, but I know they do, and they've done it for years, and I know they continue to. Um, and as a, as a Board of Education member, we've identified so many needs out there, particularly during COVID. And by the way, Governor, thank you for your work during COVID. I don't know how you've done it, but thank you. It's been a tough time. We appreciate your continued work on that issue, as well as keeping your mind the ball in education. Um, but we've seen so many needs, and the school system is only equipped to deal with so many. Um, the needs are probably higher than they've ever been. So many children are struggling out of school, I mean, Joe, you mentioned your own son has struggled being out, she's a good student, it's just, and children depend so much on school. So that's a struggle, and on top of that, uh, communities and schools identify the individual children to support them. Game Changers is we're gonna work with individual children to support them with that particular need. Um, and so, uh, Governor, I applaud you for bringing all these pieces to the table, people to the table. Uh, the Governor's also been excellent with careful consideration of Board of Education appointments. I could go on and on. Um, but uh, you've certainly been an education governor, and I know it won't stop, so thank you. Um, and we certainly thank the First Lady as well. Um, it's great to see Greenberry East and Greenberry West at the same table. Back in my day, there was a few rocks through. <laughs> but I have more friends, as many friends as Greenberry West friends as I do Greenberry East friends. It's great to see you on the same table. Governor, it's great to see this program going. I know you're in County, and I'm in County, and Greenberry County. Uh, Joe, if you need me anywhere else, I'll be glad to glad to offer that support. So, thank you to Game Changers. Um, thank you to the principals and the coaches uh, at Greenbury East and Greenbury West. As I coaches, I'm a Peck Dorsey graduate. Y'all know Peck? He, he taught me the hard way how to change games. <laughs> the hard way. But uh, those lessons I still have today. So, anyway, um, thank you all so much. Um, I, look, I know, I know this program is going to make a difference in the individual lives. And uh, we save the state one, one child at a time. So thank you. I'd like to thank everyone. I'd like a couple shout outs real quick to, to Jordan Damron and, and Nate Takich, Mitch Sutton from the Governor's Justice Office, who put up with me with 9,000 other things they have on when we plan one of these things. Though I try to take their workload off of them a little bit, I, I know I add to it instead of take away from it. And uh, Matthew Young's here today and was a big help to us down here with the logistics between Morgantown and the Greenbrier. 
Um, a as we close, I just want to tell you to make a statement here that I, I believe will come to fruition. Governor Justice will leave a legacy at some point when he leaves office. Make no mistake, the nation will talk about this plan. Make no mistake, the nation will use West Virginia as a model. Make no mistake that they've already looked and seen what's going on with game changers, community and schools, jobs and hope, and how it's attacking this problem. You will see this in other states. You will see this emulated and copied because the, the experts, the Desiree Vasquez's and the Hazelton Betty Ford people, have helped design this thing in conjunction. And West Virginia's met this head on under Governor Justice, and we will continue to do so. If there's any questions, I'm sure everyone up here will be glad to answer any questions from the media. Recording in progress. Okay, y'all don't have any questions. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what kind of going on. Like, uh, try to do like a group coming up here of one on one events. Okay. Excuse me? I thought we were going to try to do it more, yeah. so we're going to do it more. They'll, they'll need us to come out there. All right. Okay. That's fine. Before, before, before I go, though, let me go first because I've got a briefing that I've got to go to in, 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 in Charleston. But uh, nevertheless, listen, I have a, I mean this really sincerely. You don't have a clue, really, how good you really are. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm everywhere. I'm talking to everybody all across the nation, if not all across the world. Your schools are unbelievable. They are so good, it's off the chart. You know, absolutely, it's just phenomenal. You know, and uh, the only thing I can say that we set up here that I don't believe there's any level of truth to is Joe said, Coach, y'all got a nice tank. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he, oh, he was biting his tongue every way. <laughs> I'm glad you won. Never did. <laughs> but to Amy, Ben, Jason, Mr. B, Mr. Brown, all the all the group was doing this incredible work right here in Greenbark County. And to this guy, your native, that absolutely carries your torch like you can imagine. I really thank you, and I really commend you, and I mean, I don't blow smoke at anybody. You can't ever imagine how good you really are. We're really blessed. We're really blessed to have you in every way. So, Joe, thanks a bunch. And I'm going to go talk to them in a second, and I'm out of here, okay? Oh, thanks. Thank you. Thanks. Okay. Okay.